What's up, y'all? I'm coming at you with another tutorial by popular demand. We got what I call the horizontal ghosting. This one that has been requested several times on a few platforms, so I'm going to dive in today with the general concept of how to complete this move. To prevent overextension of your shoulders, use a hoop that is no longer than the length between your wrists and neck. For me, that length is about 29 inches. It might be a little bit longer or shorter for you. I'm going to show this on a vertical wall plane angle so that you can see the mechanics of what my hands are doing a little bit more clearly. Let's focus on just the handwork first. We're going to break this down into four parts, so watch closely. The first position is going to have both hands with the closed grip down in front of you. From one to two, right shoulder and left elbow open right. Right hand keeps a closed grip and left hand releases grip. From two to three, the right arm is going to cross underneath the left and the left hand is going to re-grip. Both hands in this position are going to have a closed grip. From three to four, the left arm is going to open left and the right hand is going to release grip. The left hand will keep a closed grip. From four, we'll go back to position one where both arms are extended in front of us and both hands have a closed grip. Let's run through that a few times. The big things to remember is that on one and three, both hands have a closed grip. And when you open right, the left hand releases. And when you open left, the right hand releases. Let's try it with the hoop. The mechanics of what we're doing with our hands remains the exact same even though we now hold a hoop. An important tip here is that even when a hand releases, you should try and keep the hand touching the hoop for as much time as possible. This is what will create the visual effect of the hoop floating across one's arms. Once you start to feel comfortable with these hand motions, start to smooth out the motion between each of the four positions. The more natural this starts to feel, start to add in embellishments with the movement of your body around the movement of the hoop. If you're feeling comfortable, let's move forward to the horizontal plane. Again, the mechanics of everything we've just practiced will remain the exact same even though we are now on the horizontal plane. You can still use those four positions as checkpoints with which you can move through this horizontal ghosting motion. There are several ways to expand the mechanics of this motion. Please let me know if you'd like to see more of it in another video.